Hello guys, this is Amir Rafsar. Welcome back to Dynamo Travel Show Test Channel. Uh, in my today's video, I'm going to show you how can you solve one of the common problem in FortiGuard Firewall. This is actually FortiGuard uh, filtering service availability. Uh, the status is unreachable. So you may often notice that uh, your uh, particular web filtering service and address from uh, filtering service availability uh, with the FortiGuard server is unreachable or down. So today I am going to describe uh, uh, what is the reason behind this and how can you uh, solve this problem and what is the impact of this. Problem. The impact of this uh, problem is uh, very serious. Uh, you can consider because why serious? Uh, uh, due to this absence of this service, your uh, uh, web filtering uh, services, web filtering uh, configuration might not working properly. As a result, your policies uh, might not working properly in terms of your configuration according to your configuration so as a result this uh, might become a, a serious issue uh, for your organization suppose that if you wanted to allow some of uh, your organization uh, websites or web services uh, which is related to their daily uh, work activity but this might be uh, insecure or uh, website due to the SSL or certificate um, absence. But you have to allow this uh, for your organization. But it is not going to uh, work properly because of this uh, service availability. Disability actually. So, uh, what is the reason for this? Uh, as I am experienced uh, this problem uh, for several times, I noticed that uh, the main reason of this uh, problem is happen from uh, due to the DNS configuration. Or, uh, uh, I noticed that when I uh, configured my private DNS server. My forget uh, DNS sorry. Uh, this problem appeared uh, frequently, but it can also be solved if you resolve or uh, if you ensure the particular uh, service visibility through your uh, private DNS server. Also, this might be uh, really, uh, solve this problem uh, also permanently. But uh, I think this is not a uh, good practice actually. Uh, you can ensure the uh, service stability uh, permanently uh, by configuring uh, one of the uh, FortiGuard uh, DNS server in your system uh, as well as uh, others uh, public DNS servers such as Google DNS server uh, etc. in your uh, DNS setting. So, in this scenario, how can you ensure your uh, private DNS server to your uh, end users of your organization? In this scenario, you can ensure uh, your uh, private DNS server through uh, the interfaces through the uh, IP configuration or IP uh, distribution through the dedicated LAN interfaces to your organization uh, LAN users. So with that, uh, this is my uh, one of the LAN uh, configuration or uh, VLAN configuration for uh, my end users. Where I already configured my uh, IP address in, and the IP address is distributed through this uh, server. So if I um, wanted to <coughs> distribute my private DNS server through this uh, IP configuration, I can assign this. Uh, in my end server setting 
in DNS, uh, DCB server side actually. Here, I can assign a DNS server uh, and specify my private IP uh, DNS server address along with other uh, public DNS servers if required. Uh, but each of the uh, DNS servers uh, have to be separated with a comma. Okay. Uh, with a comma. So as a result, you and the end devices and users will get their uh, private DNS server, which is uh, essential for their daily uh, official activities to log on their uh, DNS server or uh, to use uh, active directory files or another uh, server which is related to uh, their uh, organization uh, server resources or server activities. So uh, here by this uh, procedure you can ensure uh, your uh, organization private DNS server to your end users and you can ensure the particular service disability through this uh, DNS uh, uh, server setting. Um, so the solution is that you can configure your particular DNS setting independently and you can distribute your uh, end users private DNS server or organizational uh, private DNS server through their uh, interface and setting and IP configuration setting. So I think this is the best solution, this is the uh, effective solution uh, for particular service disability. Uh, I hope uh, this would help you. So when you uh, use one of the DNS server for to get uh, DNS server from there and you can uh, also ensure the Google uh, public DNS server because you may uh, notice that uh, Google public DNS server latency is uh, far better than uh, particular DNS servers, uh, services. So that's why I'm using uh, particular uh, uh, Google DNS server and as well as uh, particular uh, DNS server to ensure uh, any kind of DNS resolution uh, faster and better way and as well as ensure uh, particular uh, billion service uh, reach availability so, uh, this is going to be the effective solution for you, I hope. So, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button if you don't uh, want to miss my upcoming videos. So, thank you for watching once again.